Hello and welcome everybody. I am Herbert and today we're going to be changing the message of the day in Ubuntu. Now let's open up our Ubuntu instance right away. And I made the text a little bit bigger so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Let's make the screen a little bit bigger. There we go. And the message of the day basically is this big blob of text over here. And um, yeah, so in Linux normally when we go into uh, the Etsy folder, we would just find the slash Etsy slash MOTD file. And that would normally contain our static text that would display our message of the day. Now in Ubuntu, things are a little bit different. So Ubuntu actually dynamically generates all of this content over here. So for example, system load processes, uh, things like documentation, how many updates there are available, things like that are all dynamically generated text. So you can actually keep uh, this in there. So you can actually be a little bit selective, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to create a we're just going just to create a uh, static text file just the way we used to, right? Just like other Linux distributions do, and don't and not re really dynamically generate this 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 text, right? So if you're really savvy and if you really want to get deep into it, you can actually disable these things one by one, but we're going to get into it in just a minute. First of all, we're going to need to disable uh, the message of the day news. So when we go into sudo, when we go into Etsy default MOTD news, we're going to uh, sudo vi into there and we're going to edit this text file. So let's go up here let's press I and let's delete this and let's make this into a zero. So we need to make sure that this is disabled. So we're going to disable dynamic uh, dynamic uh, message of the day news. We're going to uh, hit escape. We're going to do colon WQ. I'm going to write that to that file. So that file is now edited and now we need to do another thing. So let's go into the folder where all of these scripts actually reside where we want to uh, where we actually want to make changes so this is the folder and as you can see there's a bunch of files in here and these are all scripts uh, little scripts shell scripts that actually generate the dynamic content so you can see they are all green which means that they are executable you can also see that over here they have this little x over here so they are all executable which makes it so that uh, ubuntu will execute them once they are in this folder so there's a bunch of stuff in here um, we have motd news we have uh, firewall updates updates available release upgrade we have this header thing uh, we have a whole bunch of scripts that all uh, will be mashed together and form this big blob of text, which is the message of the day. Now, the best way to actually get rid of all of these is to just remove the executable flag. So we're going to do that by doing sudo schmart, oops, schmart minus x, and then just like that. So sudo schmart minus x. Uh, forward slash etsy forward slash update dash motd dot d and then forward slash asterisk sign or star or whatever you want to call it this is all we need to do and if we do another ll we'll see that they are no longer executable we'll see that the executable flag has been removed but now we need to of course make sure that we can actually create a new uh, message of the day file so actually what we need to do uh, you guessed it. Yeah, we just need to create that file. <laughs> so we just need to sudo vi etsy slash motd. And now we just uh, do i to enter, uh, to insert. And we just type something over here. All right. So welcome to my Ubuntu server. This is the new message of the day. You are wonderful. There we go. As system engineers, as system administrators, we don't get enough compliments. So let's just put a little compliment in there, right? So we're going to do, again, we're going to escape. We're going to do colon WQ. I'm going to write that to the file. And now we should actually do the same thing. We should, as before, we should cat and see if that's in there. There we go. So we do have uh, the we do have created 
this file. Now let's exit out of here and let's open up PuTTY again and let's see what happens. So we're going to go into Ubuntu underscore AWS. There we go. This is our new message of the day. So welcome to my Ubuntu server. This is a new message of the day. You are wonderful. So that's it guys. So it's easy as that. It's a little bit more difficult than usually. Uh, if you are not working with Ubuntu, you should find the Etsy slash um, MOTD file. You could just edit it. But for Ubuntu, it's a little bit different. Uh, but again, this guide should just prove just as uh, just as useful for any other Linux type distribution that doesn't use this dynamically generated Ubuntu thing. Ubuntu is kind of an operating system on its own. It's it kind of leaves behind a lot of the general Linux uh, principles. So yeah, just keep that in mind whenever you're working with an Ubuntu server. Uh, it does. You know, it, it, it's not really as Linuxy as most Linux distributions. Right, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and uh, also maybe leave a comment down below if you feel like it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye, guys.